the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 279, Nehemiah 11 to 13, Nehemiah's final goal. The dedication ceremony for the rebuilt walls of Jerusalem was finally completed, and this brought back laughter to God and to people. First point, Nehemiah decided who was to live in Jerusalem by using the method of a casting lot which was used by Joshua during initial entrance into Canaan. When all the reconstruction work for the wall was completed, Nehemiah used the method used by Joshua all those years ago of casting lots to allocate land to the people. This was a continuation from the content in Nehemiah chapter 7. The reason Nehemiah chose this method was because even at the time, the Holy Jerusalem was still an extremely dangerous place. Thus, Nehemiah gathered those who had responsibilities, volunteers, and some others to live in Jerusalem. Three types of people were to live in Jerusalem. The first were the leaders of the people. The second were one-tenth of the people who were picked by the casting lot method. The third were those who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. Nehemiah made the record of all those who were picked and all those who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. Nehemiah also thoroughly recorded those among the tribe of Judah and Benjamin who were to live elsewhere from Jerusalem. As such, the people were split into those who lived inside and outside Jerusalem. But what they had in common was their determination to maintain a kingdom of priests. Second point, after settling everyone in their lands, Nehemiah went ahead and recorded the priests and the Levites who were to serve in the Jerusalem temple. Governor Nehemiah allocated everyone to their land and then recorded the priests and the Levites. He first recorded the priests and the Levites who returned during the first round. He then recorded the descendants of a high priest Joshua. Third, he recorded the ancestors of the priests. Fourth, he recorded the ancestors of the Levites. The meaning of Jerusalem was in the temple, and the temple's meaning was in the people who served God in the temple. It was important that this was continued by Moses, David, and Solomon, and that the Levites maintained their roles. Now that the temple was restored, and the walls were also reconstructed, it was important that all the priests and the Levites were recorded and checked. In order for Jerusalem to act as God's holy place, it was all the more important that the priests and Levites worked to carry out offerings to God. Thus, Nehemiah took this law of checking and recording them very seriously. He did not forget that the reason South Judah fell was at least partly because the priests and Levites had neglected their laws. Third point, the cry during the time of Jeremiah 150 years ago was changed to the sound of joy and laughter 150 years later during the time of Nehemiah. After 52 days of hard work, Nehemiah and his team managed to complete the reconstruction of the city walls. The reason the temple was not used immediately after it was restored was because the people living in Jerusalem at the time were few. It was here that Nehemiah went to find the Levites so that they could start serving in the temple again. In order to start using the temple again, the priests, Levites, and the people all gathered. 
Next, the two large choirs were assigned to give thanks. The two choirs that gave thanks then took their places in the house of God. At last, the temple was led to be used. Now, Jerusalem became the center of the Levant region. Nehemiah had an intermediate objective and a final objective. The intermediate objective was to become the cupbearer to the Persian king so that he could be sent out as a governor. The final objective was to become the joy of God and the joy of neighbors. Indeed, the sound of the laughter was the polar opposite to the sound of cries and lamenting 150 years ago. Nehemiah made Jerusalem a safe place where women and children could feel at peace and rejoice. To the people who gathered, Nehemiah made them restore the system of offering tithe. With this, those who worked in the temple were able to do so without worrying about their living expenses. Fourth point. After 12 years as governor, Nehemiah returned to Persia and then later returned to Jerusalem once again to continue the Reformation. After 12 years as the governor, Nehemiah returned to Persia and then returned to Jerusalem after that. However, when Nehemiah returned to Jerusalem from Persia, he came across a great deal of issues he had to solve. First, the temple needed to become purified of evil. Nehemiah found that Tobiah was using a big room in the temple by himself. To sort this out, Nehemiah sent Tobiah out and restored the room to how it used to be. Nehemiah made the Levite return and to start working in the temple again. They had left in the first place because the people stopped paying tithe, which meant that they were unable to earn a living. In order to solve this, Nehemiah told the people to pay tithe. Nehemiah prayed to God about this and recorded his prayer in his book. Nehemiah also came to find that the people were not keeping Sabbath and so emphasized to the people the importance of keeping Sabbath. With the traders from Tyre coming in, the Levant region had become a prosperous place and this led to the people of Jerusalem failing to keep Sabbath. They had forgotten to keep their promise that they had made not too long ago. Nehemiah then rebuked the people for intermarrying with the foreign people. Nehemiah prayed to God to curse those who broke their promise and blessed those who kept their promise. As such, Nehemiah worked ferociously in order to help the people become holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, when a kingdom of priests was re-established, Jerusalem became abundant again, and this brought in traders and sellers from Tyre, which made Jerusalem even more prosperous. Whilst acting as governor, Nehemiah completely succeeded in the regional decentralization policy in the Levant region. Jerusalem, which was a fox then during the night, had grown into a wealthy and prosperous place again. Nehemiah's record lists both the regulations in the kingdom of priests concerning Sabbaths and festivals and also the Persian Empire's policy. The system of a kingdom of priests meant that Jerusalem inevitably grew wealthy again. Then came the sellers and traders from Tyre. Jerusalem's prosperity helped Persia to become the empire of gold. The returned captives were also able to enjoy an abundant life. The problem here was that they had started to neglect Sabbath, which Nehemiah came back and rebuked them for. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis 
to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life 365 days a year I'm so glad you have it you will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the spirit on you as you use this app